there's a support page. Let's see, it's canvas support dot calpoly.edu slash students. You're probably more aware of that page than I am. And um, you can read the read the interesting things about it. There's all kinds of stuff on the right hand side for you to select. But there's a student video that you can also watch. And um, if I were to click on the student video it should pop right up. And there it is. Um, I am not going to start it now, but it's, it's, it is uh, 4 minutes and 20 seconds long, and it should give you a good introduction as to how to get the camera. If you have trouble technically with something, then I, there's an email of the University Advising uh, Center at retention at calpoly.edu. So if you don't have the technology you need to succeed, if you don't feel you do, then reach out to the University Advising Center. They will consult with students who email to you directly. So I encourage you to do that if you feel you have a problem with something that you might need. And um, this here, I'm showing you, this is my page, and this is what Canvas will look like. Or uh, your, You click on Canvas. If you click on it, you'll get what's called a dashboard. And then you can click on your, your course, whichever one that you have here, all your courses, to, in order to open it. Uh, the technical elective part of this class is actually, um, there's four. There's four technical parts of this class I want you to get out of this. And uh, they're listed up here behind me on my board. Um, the four tech areas in all the topics are uh, how do aircraft fly, how do, rockets, how do rockets work, how do we guide, navigate, and control both of them. That's called GNC for guide, navigate, and control. And then finally, how does how do satellites work? What key technologies, new technologies, do satellites use? Especially GPS, since GPS encompasses so many satellite technologies, including the one that you use in your cell phone. So there's a list of topics on the syllabus. The four technical area, the four technical areas. Our aircraft flying, rocket flying, GNC, guidance, navigation, and control. And then uh, how does GPS work? One final thing that I'd like to say is that there are actually three themes embedded in all these topics and in the four technical areas as well. The themes are more subtle. The first one is, you probably heard, no risk, no reward. That's a test pilot's motto, basically. The thing is that risk has to be reasonable. It has to be constrained by a reasonable risk, by reason, and by rationality. The second theme is that technical progress doesn't necessarily align with moral progress. Occasionally they diverge, and we're going to look at many instances where they seem to. And that means that we're going to have to look into ethics, and uh, my ethics are probably not your ethics, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the history of rational ethics, starting kind of with a man named Spinoza. And we'll go on through to the modern times, to the modern rational ethics that you live in the Western world, in, in the, here in the West. Um, and the third theme, which is probably my favorite one, is that a lot of these amazing occurrences that we're going to be talking about, amazing events and amazing people, are really just normal people. Normal people who are put in potentially extraordinary circumstances. I would insult Neil Armstrong and his memory if I called him anything other than, other than a common man, a common citizen of our country. So we're going to look at a lot of these people. The hidden figures ladies in NASA, the women pilots of other countries, uh, combat pilots in Russia, and uh, our WASP pilots from World War II, and of course our current uh, generation of pilots. So I want to close uh, this introduction by saying uh, the purpose of this class is to reduce anxiety and stress. And uh, I know you have a lot of anxiety and stress because of what things that are going on in the world. But my, the purpose here is to reduce it, not to increase it, not to cause it. So I'm very confident, based on my experience teaching this class, that you're going to do very well. Just don't blow the course off. <laughs> Just don't not do anything. Uh, I'm sure that you are going to do 
extremely well. And I welcome you to uh, Arrow 310. Thank you. Uh, I'll see you in a couple weeks or next week. Bye-bye.